Yeah, that's how I'm starting this video. Uh, weird noise and then giddy laughter. Because it's video time. And you all know that that's happy time. That's happy, happy time. Sorry it's been a while. Haven't made video for a while. For a while, for a while, for a while. Uh, I just got busy. And you know, these are free. So, no complaints. Okay? Anyway. <clears throat> Um, a while back I promised I would uh, do some process videos while I was making this, but guess what? I already finished it and I didn't put up any process videos. I did shoot some footage, so maybe I'll incorporate that into these videos. But what I'm going to do is do some retroactive videos walking you through the process I took to make this. And what is this? It is my uh, first Ashcan comic that I made for Salt Lake Comic Con this past August. <laughs> it was August? It was August. It was called Flopnar the Bumbarian, blah 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 Anyway, <clears throat> let's get started. Uh, in This is going to be a series of videos. Today's video I'm going to show you my process for creating the story coming up with the story, and then for laying out the pages. Begin. Okay, first off, my hands are going to be speaking to you for a little while. Hello. Anyway, uh, before I begin, welcome to any new subscribers. Um, thank you for subscribing. So a big hearty welcome. Welcome to the family. Um, I expect we'll have a good relationship for the time to come. Here's where the story began, and it was the wrong place to start a story, but for this particular comic, this is how it began, in a sketchbook. A sketchbook's not the wrong thing. The wrong thing is it began with just a drawing. Look, I bookmarked it because I'm getting professional here. I'm not going to be fiddling through. Here is the first sketch. I wanted to do a drawing, and I still kind of want to do it. I think I'm going to finish it just some nonsensical ridiculous drawing and it was going to be this warrior bunny <clears throat> with a huge sword or maybe a spear or something riding this big uh, I don't know tiger flying beast something um, and then I thought oh I better figure out what that warrior bunny really looks like and I thought oh he should be like you know bunnies are cute so let's take the cuteness and then make him crazy so he's all barbarian like you know blah, blah. So there's the first sketches, um, which then turned into this. There it is, the first Flopnar Bunbarian, the Bunbarian, which I then colored and um, offered as a print on my Kickstarter that failed. <laughs> that's that's time for uh, that's a story for another video, the failing Kickstarter, uh, but. That did result in a digital art book you can buy on my store. So go to go to my store and look for art book. You can buy that. It's filled with my sketches and art. <clears throat> so from there, um, I just I, I wanted to have a book ready for Comic Con. I wanted to have something physical book wise that I could sell to show you know that I actually make comics. Um, and so I started percolating ideas in my brain about what the story would be and as I was doing that I did a few more sketches of Flopnar. This is you know obviously way closer to what he ended up being. Huh? See? 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 So um yeah so okay that was the story. It started with a drawing of a character, which 
I don't think that should be the way to do it. Normally, if you're gonna write a really good story, here's the, here's the deal. You should start by creating a story. <laughs> like, a, you know, what's the plot? What's, what's the purpose of the story? What, what are you telling? And then figure out some characters that will serve that story appropriately. I don't know. But you know what? I enjoyed making it and I, I like how it came out, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Um, okay, now about layout. Uh, you can see I did a little bit of layout here in my sketchbook. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, of some of the first, this this was some options for the first page. I knew how, how I wanted it to start. Um, but I didn't do a lot on paper, honestly. I'll show you where I did most of my layouts. Transition time. Activate transitioning. In honor of the upcoming Star Wars movie, I decided on that swipey transition. Because <laughs> that's Star Wars, you know. Uh, Alright. Well, let's see here. Let me bring this up. Um, so let me show you also something else I did while I was creating this story. Bring this down here. Okay. Here's some notes I made when I was first doing the story. I wanted to figure out exactly um, what the dimensions of the comic were, were going to be. So you can see I made it as 8.5 uh, by 5.5. It was going to be 12 to 16 pages. I ended up doing 16 pages plus the cover. Black and white with some gray tones. Color, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I did a, a colored cover. I, I, it was like a parchment -y thing. Here's the outline. I, so this is how I started the story. I came up with an outline. What is going to happen in this comic? And this, this is pretty good stuff. The land is ravaged by a great beast. Flopnar appears out of the wastelands. The beast is defeated in a non-violent way. Because all ages, my dear children. All ages. Though it was violent. <clears throat> Just not gory. <laughs> all rejoice and ask Flopnar to stay. Flopnar must leave. It is his way. <laughs> uh, that's not how it ended up. The story uh, changed. And I'll tell you how that happened. But here's, here's a little blurb. This was to uh, start the comic. And I actually still kind of like it. It was the third autumn of the reign of King Frefni. I, I kind of wish I had kept Frefni. But Baklava was good too. I don't know. And the land knew much desolation. The people of the villages f lived in fear, for a great beast roamed the land and devoured all in its reach. That's a pretty good start. So when I first started doing the story, I was actually typing it out like a story. But the problem with that is I wasn't keeping... It made it really hard to transition over to comic. Um, and this is about all I did anyway. <laughs> as far as actual writing. So let me show you where I did my layout. I'm opening up Clip Studio Paint, which is another name for Manga Studio. And... Whoop, nope, that was a brand new one. Let's open up my Flopnar. Uh-oh, that is Percival there. Okay. Yep, lots of files, lots of folders. Um, Clip Studio is cool because it creates this file that is like a story file that collects all of your pages into a story format. So here we go. So what I did is I created a new file for this comic. Um, you know, made it the number of pages I needed. <coughs> Come on. Come on, man. There we go. And it's cool. You can see it has laid out all the pages. It's got some cool options that allow me to, uh, like if I wanted to say this, say this page was in the wrong place. I decided it needed to be later. It's not going to let me do it. Anyway, if my computer was alive, what I could... There we go. See, I could take this page and say, let's put it over here. Um, so that's pretty cool, you know. But that's dumb. We're not going to do that. So what I ended up doing is uh, I went into each page while it was still blank. And I think I actually got rid of it. We'll see. Let me turn all this off. Is it in the sketch? No. Maybe it's in my text. Here it is. I went in <clears throat> and I typed out 
something for each page. So in the far north lives a strong, resilient... I typed out the text that was going to happen on each page. And you can see once again that it, it changed. Um, what's here isn't what ended up being on the page. So this was really like... Let's open up another page here. This story process was very much... Um, I, I was massaging the story as I went for this particular comic. Um, I'm trying something new with, with the current issue of Percival Pundragon that I'm working on. Um, and it's I feel like it's working a little bit better, so maybe I'll walk you through that process in a different video. So anyway. <coughs> Close that, do not save. So that was the story process, and it really, I, I didn't finish writing the story um, before I started drawing. The story really became finalized near the end, after I had done my layouts. So let me show you how I did layouts. Um, so for this particular page, let's bring this up. Dude, hide those. Here's my layout. Bring it a little darker so you can see it better. Uh, it was just really rough scribbles. That's how I'm laying it out. And I start with my panels first. I decide, you know, I, I, I think about, okay, what am I going to cover in this page? How many panels do I want to cover it in? And I create panels. And when I'm creating those panels for this particular book, um, that, this particular book, that's how I did it. I decided on the panel, number of panels first, and, um, I wanted the panels to add to the story, so for example, this page is kind of a somber, slow part of the story, and so the panels are all square with horizontal and vertical lines. Um, let's see here, let's, let's bring up a more action-y, action-y, that's a real word, action-y page. <coughs> Hide all this. Bring up the sketch. Okay. You can see on this page there's more action, and so what I decided to do with the um, with the panels, let's get a little pointer -y thing, um, was give them diagonal lines, and that gives a sense of you know action and movement and you know, suspense, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> so that, I, I kept that in mind while I was laying out the pages. Do I, do I want it to feel like there's action going on, or do I want you to feel at rest? And that determined what kind of panel borders I, I drew. Um, now let's go back to this one over here. You can also see that part of my layout process, oh, first of all, let me say, um, I start out small when I'm doing the layout. So I work at like this size, because I want to be able to see the entire page at once. I want to see how it looks as an entire page. And in order to do that, you have to work small. So I worked small to do my layouts. But let me zoom in so you can see it better. Um, another thing I kept in mind with layouts was text. I didn't, want to, I didn't want that to come up later and then have to figure out where the text was going to go. I really want, it, want that to be part of the story. So part of the layout was actually adding text in it. Let me bring the text back here. That. So I I brought every page to this part, to this uh, to this finished level where I had a layout and the, the text. And on this particular page, I, I really like how it ended up. Um, let me go ahead and just show the whole image so you can get a real sense of it. Um, I like how this one worked out because it, it kind of flows. So you've got your text here. This is the first thing you read. And behold it this time. And then it naturally... I, I hate having a, a lump of text all in one place on a page because I feel like you're just going to... I don't know, you're going to read the text and, and kind of feel like you're ready to turn the page already. So I want to use the text to move your eyes around. So I start here, dot, dot, dot bring you across the bunny, and then, oh, here's some more text to read. Wait, he was older than that. So you then brings you across the image again, 
no more older, right? And then you go across the image again. Look, he was so old that, well, so what I liked about this page is that, I don't know, I, I felt like, um, I felt like the text and the image were incorporated really well. I don't always execute it as well as I felt this page came out, but this one I think worked good. And it, you know, it brings you across the image and then brings a joke to it and then across the image and you get more of the joke and then across the image again you get that you know that joke another thing I tried to keep in mind with layout <coughs> was um, page turns so uh, you know it's it's good when possible I don't I don't know that I really got it as 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 uh, well as I wanted on this one um, but I try to keep in mind the page turning. Try to lump things together. So here, for example, this page. You're expecting something to happen. Rumble, rumble, and it says, oh, there's a great monster. And then you turn the page and you get the reveal. You get to see it. Right? So that's the idea. The turning of pages as a reveal. Okay. Um... That's about it with layout. Um, I started with panels, included the text, because that's got to be part of the image. You can't leave that till after. I really think that's important. Um, and then as soon as I got it to that layout stage where everything, every page was laid out, all the text was done, then I showed it to somebody and said, hey, here's the story. How does this flow to you? Um, and that's where I got some feedback. <laughs> um, and I had done a few pages penciled, more refined drawings at that point, just so they could get a better idea of what it was really going to look like. <clears throat> and I got, I got some good feedback about the story, and that's where the story really ended up changing in the end from what I initially thought it was going to be. So, that, there's the layout. The layout and story. Thanks for, uh, no thanks. All right. The next video is going to be uh, probably covering pencils. Probably just penciling. Um, I don't think we'll go into inking. I think that'll be another video. So we'll go into the pencils. Um, if you have any questions about that that you specifically want me to answer, go ahead and put that in the comments. If you have more questions about what I covered today, Put that in the comments, or tweet me, or Instagram me, or Facebook question me, or email me, or whatever. Let me know. Um, maybe I can do some follow-up videos where I go into further detail. That was a lot of information crammed into a little bit of time. Because that's the best. It's like bowls of cereal, and you try and cram as much sugar into this condensed little ball of goodness that makes for the best cereal so the best videos are going to be likewise right crammed yeah that's not a good thing um i don't really think that's good if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more please subscribe to the channel even better yet go check out my shop there's a link in the notes and pick up a copy of Flopnar. I will draw in it. Well, kind of draw in it. I'll sign it for you. Ship it out to you. And then it's all yours. To behold. And to read. Um, and while you're at the shop, pick up some other stuff. Prints. I don't know. Digital copies of my art book. Or Percival Pun Dragon comic. There's that. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks. Thanks. Thanks.